All right, so this is going to be a little bit of a strange video. I had a buddy call me and say, hey, I've got all this video game stuff, and he texted me some pictures of it, and we came to an agreed on price. So I went and got that, and I found a garage sale along the way, and I found uh, an estate sale, and then I hit a thrift store or two, and I only got footage from one of the uh, garage sales. Uh, but then I got, I show you guys the whole haul at the end. And then there's a couple of what solds. And one of the things is something that I, we talked about earlier this week that I didn't, uh, know how I was going to do on. So we'll, uh, do a little reveal on that at the end. So go ahead and hit the like button. If you're excited to see this video, thanks for being here. Uh, comment along the way. Let me know what you think of the things that you see. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. Let's get into it. Random Wednesday afternoon garage sale. Let's see if we get anything. I don't remember noticing this Marvin the Martian. I kind of wish I would have checked it out. These guys seem to specialize in mostly Hot Wheels, new in package, and baseball cards but they had a lot of this kind of generic 80s toys, nothing branded, nothing specific and exciting, G.I. Joe's or Transformers or whatever, but they had a lot of these kind of just bread and butter generic 80s toys that I was able to grab a handful of. All right, well, I think I'm going to quit recording here and do some digging, and I'll show you what I get when I get back to the car. Looks like some interesting stuff. All right, well, you guys know me. New old stock toys. I can't pass them up. These were, a, this one was a dollar. It's Fisher Price. I don't know anything about it, but I'm going to find out, and it's cool. Um, so it was a buck. That's for sure money. This one was five bucks. It's probably money. Uh, but it was super cheap to start with. It had somebody bought it for ten cents. Um, but it's it's a cool old piece because it's mint on card. And then just a bunch of random like Fisher Price trucks and these little Buddy L. I don't think this one's Buddy L. There was one or two that were Buddy L. Um, this guy I don't know who that is, but it says Warner Brothers. And then it is just a nice looking older plush. I'm sure I'll be able to figure out who it is. Um, maybe it doesn't say, maybe it says Wallace Bernie. Maybe it's not a famous character. I don't know. It looks like Tony Tiger, but it's not. Um, anyway, I showed up ill prepared. I didn't know I was stopping at a garage sale. I thought I was just going to go pick up some video games for my buddy. And I didn't have enough cash. So they wanted 15 or $16 for everything. And I was like, well, I can go get some money. But if you take six bucks for this and five bucks for that, then I'll, um, I can just give you $11 because that's what I got. And they're like, that's fine. So showed up ill-prepared and it worked out in my favor. Um, I, I definitely will make money at 11 bucks, but I'm not quite sure what all of that is. All right, let's do a haul video real quick. I had a buddy get a hold of me because he needed a little bit of cash and he knew I bought video game stuff. So I uh, made him an offer on this stuff and he got, he made me a deal. It was a... a mutually beneficial so what did i get i got 
another Nintendo. I still haven't sold. Well, I haven't sold uh, on eBay any Nintendos. I had a guy who traded me for two of the ones that I just got. I got a Wii Sports Complete in the box. I sold the guy. I sold that guy this originally, so I know that this is a really good unit that's been tested and is totally complete because that's how I roll. This one, I don't, let me, hold on a minute. Way cool. It is not, um, the claim is that it's, a lot of the stuff has never been opened in it. I, I haven't tested that theory, but I love this uh, box. So it may just sit on a shelf at my house. I may not sell this one. Um, but if you look at, and I'll show you on the other side, this is something important to notice about a Wii console. Notice how this Wii is standing up on its side and it says Wii here. This Wii is laying down on the display and says Wii there. So if you stood up on its side like this one, Wii would not be where it's legible. When it's like this, then this will play GameCube games. This one will not. So the units by themselves, this one is much less desirable than this one as far as resale value goes. Uh, but this particular one with the Mario game and the uh, all the accessories still wrapped, that's a uh, super solid. What do you think about that Yoshi Wii? Good. Did you see this? picture on the back yeah is that cool yeah and it even has that oh and it even has that disc of music all right so this box has uh call of duty black ops which i don't care anything about it's got this uh xbox 360 and it's got connects and a controller and all the cords and I paid 30 bucks. I don't know how good of a deal that is, except I do know that sitting at my house was this box, empty box that I've had for years. And so now I have this unit complete in the box, which is way cool. I haven't checked to make sure the model numbers are exactly the same, but it is the exact same uh, Xbox 360 ready to go. Pretty excited about that pickup. Same deal here. PlayStation 3. This is the backwards convertible or backwards compatible one. And so it will play PS1 and PS2. And you may have seen the box just fall off the table. I've had this box, just an empty box, sitting around and people are like, why are you collecting empty boxes for video games but that's why because eventually you come across two in one day to fill up empty boxes so that's way cool more stuff i got from that guy is this halo special edition xbox and this guy is a pretty adamant collector so as much as i hate to buy xboxes because i almost never buy ones that haven't been tried soft modded by some kid who has no idea what he's doing and ruins them and they never work. This one, I suspect, works well or Gavin wouldn't have messed with it for very long. Um, these games are garbage, but they came in that lot. NFL, John Elway, Captain Seahawk, Tetris, which is always a good game, um, but it ain't worth anything. Silent Service and NFL football, and then a couple of uh, Mario and Hogan's Alley manuals. Those are, you know, they are what they are. This game I bought off of him a long time ago and we hadn't been able to meet up. But this, you can play the Turtles arcade game on your GameCube. Fire! Hang on, April. Uh, if you beat that game. Diddy Kong, that's a good one. Some kind of golf game, Star Fox 64, but that's the player's choice. If you look, that makes the game a re-release and not as valuable if you're looking.
scope six. I'll probably keep this so in case someday I get a scope. So I'll probably lot all of these uh, Super Nintendo games together and sell them for one little bit of nothing. This is why I remember there was another game. Uh, Super Mario, that's a great game. And then this copy of Super Mario for the Wii. Dragon Ball Z Budokan 2 for the GameCube. That's about a $25 game. This is junk, need for speed, it's okay. This is about a $50 game. Mario, this is complete with the uh, manual in the disc. And uh, that's a pretty good one. And then controllers and cables for the consoles. Not all of them, certainly. This I picked up at the Hope Chest. Um, it's a 12 inch. It's called a cut plate. It's by Fiesta Wear. And the cashier just absolutely lost her mind. And she'll probably end up buying that from me. Um, we exchanged information. I'll do this real quick. They had CDs for a quarter a piece and they had a thousand of them. No, they were 20 cents a piece. They were five for a dollar. Um, and I said that I hadn't sold a Nintendo up until just now when I just sold one while I'm looking at my phone making this video. So this one is nothing I ever heard of, but I just went through and picked out sealed stuff. Keep the faith that just looks like a compilation of stuff that um, people would uh, people would be looking for. Jimmy Buffett sealed the Chieftains, which is really good folk music. How to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb, a great album by U2. Uh, uh, bon Jovi, Andrew Lloyd Webber. There's a handful of these uh, CDRs, but at 20 cents a piece, I'll lot them all together and make a little bit of money. This is Celtic Women, which is something that sells, and it has that Christmas ornament. I suspect that will sell pretty well. Uh, the Best of Opera. I don't know anything about opera music, but at 20 cents, I was going to take a chance on it. And then the rest of these are literally some stuff I don't know anything about, but they were laying there and they were sealed. Oh, this... Jesus culture is something I got for myself. Uh, uh, Starfire 59. They were, they were in the pile. They were sealed. I should be able to uh, make quite a bit of money just reselling these as new CDs. I mean, CDs don't go for a lot, but if they go for two bucks a piece plus shipping, then I've only got $3 into the whole lot of them. Okay, so... I'm just going to channel my inner uh, Ryan Roots here and just go through a bunch of vintage clothes all at once. This is a, this is a single stitch, but it's on an old champion tee tag, um, a really old champion tag. So that's way cool. It's way too small to be anything and it's dirty, but I like that champion tag. So I picked it up. This old all over print NASCAR style. Alan Jackson shirt. I paid too much for it, but I think I'll be able to make a little bit. I paid 10 bucks. I suspect it's like 25. Um, these are some really nice looking orange tab Levi's. Uh, I paid a dollar for them. I'm going to make money for sure on that. This is newer than I would normally buy, but it's just a really nice looking Joker graphic. So I picked it up for a buck. Figure somebody will pay for that. Uh, older, not old. Jordan T. Again, it's a dollar. It needs washed. This hat is a painter's hat with that um, funny car NHRA uh, tag on it. I paid 50 cents, but I don't know about that. I'll show you that tag. That I figure the badge is worth what I paid for the thing. There's two of these. They're exactly the same. So I'll set one off to the side. They're like members only kind of jackets, but they're uh, tonic is the name brand on them. And they are uh, 1991 Caterpillar. Um, so I, I imagine those will do well. I only paid $3 a piece for them. I like this one quite a bit. I thought it was probably older than it actually turned out to be. It's like a 2004 Made in the U.S. MASH t-shirt. Um, paid 50 cents for a pink fanny pack. It says we we run this beach pink uh, Victoria's Secret. This is a diesel cat. I got this the same place as I got the jackets. 
single stitch cat diesel power. I imagine that's a really good shirt. I don't know exactly, but I suspect it is. I do really well with these navy pocket tees, and this one's a Hanes tag single stitch. Again, it was a buck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do really well with it. This one, I don't know how old it is, but it is a big logo champion spell out with the nice champion tag in the corner. Um, I paid a dollar for it. We'll figure it out. It's got a few stains on the front. Hopefully I can get those out. This one's fun. Bahama Mama. Um, it's small ladies size tee and then it's got the, uh, it's a single stitch. It's on a straw mart, which I suspect is probably just a cheap shirt that somebody was buying in the 90s for like making touristy stuff. They had two of this shirt. I maybe should have picked them both up. Holy cow. I didn't even notice the back. Um, it's a Winston cigarettes, Winston Select pocket Hi. tee. Hi, Caleb. But then it's got this huge graphic on the back. Had I noticed that, it's made in America oh. on this Winston tag, American born. And had I noticed that it had that huge eagle graphic on the back, I definitely would have picked them both up. Uh, that's a, again, that's a single stitch. It was a dollar. Another, this is, on, this is the same Hanes large so i'll probably lock the two together pocket tee and then this one was also a dollar at a different place and it is a not very old but a pretty nice jordan and so that. those are the shirts those are the shirts that i got at a at thrift stores and yard and sales that. today and i bought this for caleb piece this is a like a medical ice bag thing that your grandma would have done in 1983 so i was one year old when this was made new in package i mean the package is a little tore up but this thing's never been used it's pretty cool i picked this up in a bag of toys at the hope chest i was hoping to find a date on it 1998 okay so this is it's new old stock it's been opened but it hasn't been used um it was 25 cents and it's just cool old packaging. I don't figure it's worth a fortune, but at 25 cents, I'm not out much. Uh, these are uh, Rapid Fill from the Disney Parks. I, Disney stuff tends to not have dates on it. I suspect these are probably like 10 years old. And uh, I, a pair of them for a dollar, I'm gonna probably lot them together and sell them for 10 or $15 plus shipping. This is older, an older uh, Soma 1985 wired remote control car. Uh, it's missing the battery cover, which kind of sucks, but it will operate without the battery cover. So I bet it'll sell. I, I don't know how much, but I didn't pay much for it. And then this guy, Nylant, is always a pretty good brand for me. It's a friction feed car, truck, and it's in real nice shape. It doesn't appear to have any broken pieces. It, uh, the stickers are in really good shape. The paint's in really good shape. Um, I'm thinking this is probably like a, if it's $25, it's probably $25 shipping. $14.99 plus shipping. And then I paid $16 for these, which are again, that concentric circles and the copper bottoms are Revere wear. And you guys saw the last piece of Revere wear I bought for a dollar sold for 12 in no time. Well, these I paid three, six, nine, uh, twelve, and then these two were two dollars a piece, so fourteen, sixteen. I paid sixteen dollars for the whole set. I suspect that this, this lid will go on this skillet, and one of the maybe the I don't know if that's going to have interchangeable lids or not. Maybe I'm missing a lid, but um, if those sell for ten bucks a piece, I'm in them for sixteen. Then they're 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, let's say 10 bucks for both of those, 50, $50. Even if I have to pay shipping, then $50 shipped, I'm paying like maybe $15 to ship them. So then I'm 35 and I double my money because if I paid 16 and I sell them for 35, uh, yeah. So that wasn't, that, that wasn't like a home run, but it's a solid base hit. So I think that's going to do it on my pickups for today. Um, I had a couple of sales. You guys want to get into that? 
Yeah, let's do what salt. It's sold! I was worried about whether or not I was going to be able to make very much money on it. It sold for $27 shipped. I don't know how much it's going to cost me to ship, but now I'm fi I feel a lot better about being $6 into something that sold for $27 than $6 for something that sold for $15. So that's what sold. This sold for $20 plus shipping. Uh, it's in really nice shape. Me and the buyer went back and forth a little bit. I was asking $40 plus shipping. Um, and he came at like 15 and I thought there's no way we're going to get to a ground, a working number. And then the, uh, I ended up spending so much dang money today that I thought, well, if I can get something out of this, it'll help me recoup some of my losses for today. And so that sold for $20 plus shipping. This Nintendo, nice clean unit. I've tested it out a bunch of times. It works super well. I sent Mario Duck Hunt with it. That sold for $80 which surprised me a little bit. Surprised me a little bit that that went for that high. I thought I'd get a best offer. But instead, the buyer sent me an offer on this. And so it's shipping with the other one. And so this sold for only 15, but the guy paid up for this. So I don't feel a little bit bad about giving him a deal on that. This sold, um, I picked this up when we were in um, West Virginia, I think. I listed this and within a couple of hours, I got uh, an offer. I listed it for $38.99. I think the buyer sent me an offer of $35.99, something like that. Anyway, this sold really quick for just about full price. I paid 10 bucks for it, so I'll make some money. It's not in the best shape for collectible toys, but it's um, Army of Darkness, man. People go nuts for that. It'll, it'll always sell if you find that stuff reasonably priced. This is a Ghostbusters cartoon from the pull speed ahead from the Ghostbusters cartoon and it sold for $18.79. $8.79 free shipping. This is Bunny Blanc from Ever After High and she sold for $13.40 free shipping. And my baby sister Evelyn tried to eat her. <laughs> So when somebody tells you something you bought is practically unused, I just pulled this uh, Mario, this Wii, out of the box. And, like, the power cord, or the AV cord, has never been unwound. That's factory wide. The sensor bar is still in the phone. The nunchuck, still in the phone, factory wound still has the batteries that would have come for the controller. The console's been used. But man, this thing's about as nice as it can be. For right now, that lives right there. Cause it's way too cool. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for tonight's video. Thanks for sticking in there with me. Hopefully you learned some something from the things that I picked up. Ask some questions, let me know what you need to know. Um, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks for watching.